All right, I just wanted to come on and just remind you guys, I know that I've said this a million times, just gonna repeat it for any of you who might need to hear it. So I share a lot of information on healing the body and helping to get your body into a better state of alignment with health so that we're not suffering and miserable because that sucks. And there's many paths to do that. Okay, some people would like you to believe that, oh, you know, this is, this is the magic way. And the reality is, is that there's many ways to heal, okay? The universe has given us many options, okay? There's not only one. But I think it's safe to say that if you want to be healthy, you've got to have all the areas of your life aligned with health, okay? You've got to have a good diet. And good diet means different things to different people, okay? But what I can say is if you're not getting benefit from your diet, then it's not the right one for you. That, that should go without saying, right? So I just help people shift in a direction that starts to bring them greater healing. And for me personally, what I've seen in my life to work the best just happens to be a heavy, heavy animal-based diet. Less of everything else. No junk though, that's kind of required. No processed food, no extra sugar, no junk. But how much plant food people can have, that's gonna vary from person to person. I think some people can do better with them than others and it's really just trial and error. Again, it's just an experiment to see what your body does well with. So there's the nutrition angle, okay? And then of course, there's all the other components of our being, you know, the mental, the mental path, the mental process, our emotions, our spiritual beliefs, our spiritual life, okay? None of those things to me really mean much if you are not deeply connected to your instincts and your intuition. And you know, I've been preaching this for 30 years that the only way out of this mess is by realigning with our instincts and our intuition. And that is directly linking up with our source and being in the source flow because our mind cannot perceive and know all. It's impossible. It's in a human body. And the only way that we can come from any place of greater awareness is when we're connected to our source consciousness because it is our higher self that is connected to source that sees and knows all. So all of these people talking about manipulating your reality with your thoughts and your mind, it just, it's to the point now where it just makes me laugh. And anybody who follows that, I feel sorry for them. Okay, because our minds and our thoughts are not capable of seeing and knowing all in this matrix because we are still locked in here. So our intuition bypasses the mind. Sorry about that, I was in the sun and I couldn't see anything. Um, so now I'm looking down at, the <laughs> at my iPad. Okay, so the only way through this is intuition and instincts. That is what, that is what is aligned with our source creator. Okay, or our higher self, the, the part of us that is not chained and bound to this matrix, okay? And again, I've said that a million times ad nauseum. So at the end of the day, for as much as I'm always helping people to heal their bodies by making changes and doing things, it's really about us realigning with our true being and our true self, okay? And it's living authentically. It's living from this place and being guided from our inner light so that we're not making decisions because of out here. We're not making decisions because of information that is coming in here. We're making decisions because they truly, truly feel right for us. And, you know, we may make some mistakes along the way. A lot of us are, you know, we're really just, just learning to, to get in touch with our instincts. And a lot of people mistake feelings for instincts. Okay, feelings are not instincts. I mean, instincts is a feeling, but it's not a feeling the way most people are used to. 
Okay, it's not an emotional reaction. And it's not something that makes you feel good or feel bad, right? It's just instincts are so much deeper than that. And a lot of people are just starting to figure out what their instincts are. And then the more you trust them, the more you follow them, the more you realize this is the only way. It is the only way. Okay, so again, there's, there's so much distraction out there that wants to distract you telling you that we create with our mind and our thoughts. No, very little, actually. Very little is created from that place. Okay, and those that know anything about the heart and brain coherence, that is actually what determines our electromagnetic frequency. It's not the thoughts in the mind. That's actually a big old distraction, okay? Your frequency is determined by how well you are living from your intuition and your instincts and how aligned you are to your source flow. You can play games with your mind and your thoughts and try to manipulate little pockets of your reality and you're going to spend your life doing that and you are going to waste this precious fucking opportunity to raise the vibration of the whole fucking planet. Get the fuck out of your mind. It's not to say it's not useful, but it has to be a servant to your intuition and your instincts. If your mind and your thoughts try to lead you astray, ignore them. Your will, when it is attached to your instincts and your intuition, is the way. And you will need to use your will to override your thoughts and your emotions and your feelings again and again and again and again. Okay, the minute you really embrace this path and start to walk it fully, you're going to need your will more than ever. And I just can't stress that enough. And it's absolutely true. And all you need to do is try it. It's absolutely true. It reveals itself to be true very quickly. And it doesn't mean it's going to make your life easier. As a matter of fact, it can make your life harder. Yeah, trying to escape the prison isn't always easy. They send out the fucking guard dogs. They send out an army to, to get you. Okay? Not easy. But you follow your inner light. You follow your inner light. You stay in the source flow that sees and knows all. You start following your inner guidance. And you're not following your mind and your thoughts and what other people say for you to think and do. Okay, so for as much as all of the physical things that we do and all of the other things that we do, yes, they are important. We have physical bodies that need to be tended to. We are mental beings, emotional beings, spiritual beings, physical beings, and all of those needs need to be met. Okay, I'm not denying that at all. But unless you align with your instincts and your intuition, which is directly connected to source, none of it in the end is going to matter. None of it, okay? Okay. Get your priorities straight. Signing out.